The Turkish Van. It's a fluffy white cat whose tail and ears are colored. The Turkish Van is an independent, athletic, intelligent, beautiful, stunning looking cat. The Turkish Van, which is sometimes called the Van, is one of the oldest known domesticated cats on the planet. There's a lot of bees with the Turkish Van. Very soft, very vocal, very active. And while they look huggable, don't be fooled. These guys like their space. Come here. This cat doesn't like to be picked up a lot. It doesn't like to cuddle for too long. It's quite independent. Nice cat. But this cat's main claim to fame is its odd fascination with water. And this cat is a naturally occurring breed, created by nature, not cat breeders. I think it's always interesting when a type of animal develops on its own. You have to question, why did that happen? What about the environment? So where did this cat originally come from? Well, it didn't hit American soil until 1982 and is still a very rare breed in the US. However, it's no newbie kitty. It's an ancient cat. It originated in the rugged Lake Van region of Turkey. Turkish Van is considered a regional treasure. According to tradition, the Turkish Van was a successful ratter on Noah's Ark. If a Turkish fan has a one little mark on the back of their neck, that it's considered like the thumbprint of God, which is a good sign. The Turkish van's chalky white coat is silky smooth, which means... Petting a Turkish van is wonderful. And it's due in part to the fact that they don't have that same undercoat that most cats have. Which makes the coat thinner and smoother. And their coat color is a result of the celebrated van gene. So they have this typically reddish or brownish kind of flare marks, almost like painting on their head and also on their tails. And the Turkish van's eyes are either both blue or both amber, or sometimes one of each. The van's muscular body has been compared to a swimmer's body. It gives him the edge for strength over other felines. Another commonality true to the breed, they actually enjoy swimming. Most of our friends are amazed when we tell them we have swimming cats because I've never heard of them. Now you may be saying to yourself, place any cat in a pool and sure, he'll try to swim. But Jim and Wilma say they have tested their theory and it's just not so. Turkish vans were born to do this. The Turkish van's muscular broad shoulders and chest should be at least as wide as its head, which gradually flows into the cat's well-rounded rib cage and strong legs. And so the Turkish van's top-heavy body pushes its center of gravity forward, giving this aquatic feline a bulldog-like stance. This is why this cat is such a natural in water. Turkish vans are stable, sturdy cats with good, healthy genes. Yes, they generally are very, very healthy. Although they do suffer from obesity, so you have to be careful that you don't overfeed them. As for grooming, this so-called wash and wear cat needs attention. Cashmere coat will actually tangle if they're not combed on a regular basis. And they make a great pet for families with older kids. The Turkish van is not good with small children because of their heritage, they're hunters. So the bottom line is, Turkish vans are very healthy cats but are susceptible to obesity. Their coats need a weekly brushing. And because they're independent cats, they're best suited to live with loving adults. If you have a Turkish van, you need to be extra careful to make sure that they're not turning on the faucets or flushing the toilets when you leave. Oh yeah, they really do play with like faucets and it's funny.